Why should people care about the shapes of molecules? The properties of molecules, including their role in nature, depend not only on their molecular composition, but their shape as well. Molecular shape determines properties such as boiling point, melting point, solubility, state of matter, as well as chemical reactivity. This is because the shape of a molecule determines the polarity of a molecule. A polar molecule is one in which one side or end of the molecule has a slight positive charge and the other side or end has a slight negative charge. Consider the model below of hydrogen fluoride. Hydrogen fluoride is an example of a polar molecule or a dipole. The word dipole means polar molecule. Look at this diagram. Notice that there is a partial positive charge on the hydrogen atom and a partial negative charge on the fluorine atom. That's because fluorine is more electronegative than hydrogen. It has a stronger attraction for the bonding pair of electrons than hydrogen does. Notice the direction of the dipole. It is pointing towards the fluorine end of the molecule. Hydrogen fluoride is a polar molecule or dipole for two reasons. Number one, the bond between the fluorine and hydrogen must be polar covalent. That is, there is an unequal sharing of the bonding pair of electrons. Since fluorine has a higher electronegativity, the bonding electrons will spend more time closer to the fluorine, giving it a partial negative charge. Hydrogen on the opposite side acquires a partial positive charge. So the first thing that is necessary for a molecule to be polar is that there must be polar bonding. Number two. HF is a linear molecule made up of two different atoms with different electronegativities. There is no symmetry to cancel out the effects of the polar bond. The net effect is a permanent dipole directed towards the fluorine atom. In order for a molecule to be polar, there can be no symmetry to cancel out the effects of the polar bonding. A nonpolar molecule does not have an uneven charge distribution. The chlorine molecule shown below is an example of a nonpolar molecule because the chlorine chlorine bond is a nonpolar covalent bond. In other words, if the bonds are nonpolar, the molecule is nonpolar. All diatomic elements have nonpolar bonding and are nonpolar molecules. Some molecules made up of atoms held together by polar covalent bonds are nonpolar molecules because of their shape. If the polar bonds are symmetrically arranged around a central atom, the partial charges cancel each other out and the molecule would be nonpolar. Symmetrical molecules are nonpolar molecules. Molecules can be symmetrical depending on their shape and the arrangement of the atoms that make them up. Let's look at some examples. The figure on the left represents carbon tetrachloride. It is a carbon atom surrounded by four chlorine atoms. Since the four chlorine atoms are symmetrically arranged around the carbon atom, this would be a nonpolar molecule. Look at the figure on the right. Methyl chloride. Three CH bonds and one CCL bond. 
These atoms are not symmetrically arranged around the carbon atom. Therefore, this molecule would be a polar molecule. Notice that the dipole is pointing towards the chlorine. That's because chlorine has the highest electronegativity. So, if a molecule is symmetrical, it is a nonpolar molecule. If a molecule is not symmetrical, it will be a polar molecule. Although we represent molecules as being two-dimensional, they are actually three-dimensional. Some possible shapes are linear, bent, pyramidal, and tetrahedral. The valence shell electron pair repulsion theory or model, abbreviated VESPER, helps chemists predict the shape of molecules. This theory is based on the fact that there is a strong repulsion between electron pairs. When writing Lewis structures, we are concerned with two types of electron pairs. The valence electrons can be distributed as shared or bonding pairs of electrons and unshared or lone pairs of electrons. In the HCl molecule, there is one bonding pair of electrons around chlorine, and there are three lone pairs, or three unshared pairs of electrons around chlorine. Lone pairs of electrons take up more room than bonding pairs of electrons. Consider the molecule of water below. Since the lone pairs repel more strongly than bonding pairs, this forces the bond angle between the oxygen and hydrogen atoms to be reduced. In other words, because lone pairs take up more space, this is why the water molecule is bent and not linear. These are the four shapes you must know for honors chemistry. The tetrahedral, carbon, surrounded by four atoms. Bent, oxygen, surrounded by two atoms with the two lone pairs of electrons. Pyramidal, Nitrogen bonded to three atoms with its lone pair of electrons. And linear. Any two atom molecule will be linear, such as this one. And then sometimes there are molecules such as carbon dioxide, which you built in class, which is also linear. Let's consider the molecule hydrogen. In any two atom molecule, which is always linear, if the bond is nonpolar, the molecule is nonpolar. All diatomic elements have nonpolar bonding, are linear, and are nonpolar molecules. Let's look at carbon dioxide. What kind of bond exists between carbon and oxygen? If you subtract the electronegativities, you will find that the carbon-oxygen bond is polar covalent, with the dipole directed towards the oxygen atom. But what kind of shape is carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide is linear. Number three, is the molecule symmetrical? Yes, the molecule is symmetrical, with the dipoles facing in opposite directions, thereby canceling each other out. 
Because carbon dioxide is a linear molecule, even though the bonding is polar covalent, the molecule is nonpolar. Now, in any two atom molecule that's always linear, if the bond is polar, the molecule is polar. There's no symmetry. Consider the molecule hydrogen chloride. Remember, the arrow points towards the more electronegative element. The chlorine has a partial negative, and the hydrogen has a partial positive charge. The HCl molecule is a polar molecule. It is a dipole. To review, linears can be symmetrical, which makes them nonpolar, or linears can be asymmetrical, which will make them polar. Water is a polar molecule. It has a bent shape. Bent is never symmetrical. The hydrogen-oxygen bonds are polar bonds. The dipoles are asymmetrical and do not cancel. This gives an overall dipole moment facing up towards the oxygen atom. The oxygen will acquire a partial negative charge, and the hydrogen will acquire a partial positive charge. Take a look at these figures of the water molecule. Remember, bent is always polar. Pyramidal is also always polar. It is never symmetrical. The bonds between nitrogen and hydrogen are not symmetrically arranged around the nitrogen atom. That lone pair of electrons at the top of nitrogen take up a lot of space. This is an asymmetrical molecule, meaning that because it has polar bonds, the molecule is polar. Are the bonds polar between nitrogen and hydrogen? Yes directed towards the nitrogen. Is the molecule polar? Yes, it is polar because the molecule is not symmetrical. It does have a partial positive end and a partial negative end, and you can draw in an overall dipole. Methane is a tetrahedral. It has four carbon-hydrogen bonds symmetrically arranged around the carbon atom. Because the carbon-hydrogen bonds are all evenly spaced, even though the carbon-hydrogen bond is very slightly polar, the molecule is symmetrical and it is therefore a nonpolar molecule. Tetrahedrals can be symmetrical. Because methane is a symmetrical molecule, it is nonpolar, even though the carbon hydrogen bonds are polar. Tetrahedrals are symmetrical if the four atoms around the central atom are the same. For methane, are the bonds polar? Yes, directed towards the carbon. But is the molecule polar? No, it is not. The molecule is not polar because it is a symmetrical molecule. Symmetrical molecules are always nonpolar molecules. To review, if the substituents around the carbon atom are the same, it is a symmetrical molecule and the molecule is nonpolar. But if the substituents are different, it is a non-symmetrical or asymmetrical molecule, and the molecule is polar.